Hello people, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we are, we are going to study about registers. What are registers? Registers are nothing but the um, group of some flip flops. This is flip flop 1, flip flop 2, 3 and 4. We know flip flop store 1 bit, 0 or 1, flip or flop. Uh, but if we want to store a uh, group of data in set of information then we have to store uh, more than one flip flop so group of flip flop can be called as registers so they can be uh, connected ser serially like these and applied one clock to all of them and the serial output will be here q this is d d there are many type buffer register shift register serial in parallel route serial in serial out so but the basic syntax of flip flop sorry basic syntax of register is it is a set of flip flop means if we want to store four bit of data then we have to add four flip flops means uh, n flip flop we have to add four n bits this is for here i have four flip flops so i will store four bits so the basic structure of flip uh, register will be input and output this will be n bit n bit means if here is four bit then i will add four flip flop eight bit eight flip flop this data can be serial uh, serially or parallelly added uh, we can determine with later from the types of registers so basically this is the block diagram data can be added serially to that i will explain later but the basic i want to tell you that is register is a set of flip flops register can be classified on the various basis like modes on modes of operation uh, whether enter data remains stationary or shift or shifting of data modes of op operation means there are various modes of operation like I told data can be added serially or data can be added like this parallelly. This is serially. So there are four on basis of mode there are four serial in, serial out, serial in, parallel out, parallel in, serial out and serial in uh, what is remaining parallel in parallel out there are four modes of operation uh, whether enter data remains stationary or shift uh, here are two types buffer register and shift register buffer register is used to only store data temporary it does not shift data from one flip flop to another flip flop S suppose these are this is d flip flop for d flip flop flip flop a flip flop b flip flop c and flip flop d uh, we have four inputs y1 y2 y3 and y4 this will be d and the output will be q1 q2 q3 and q4 don't forget to apply clock pulse this is the buffer register in this uh, no data is shifted from one flip flop to flip flop a to flip flop b or flip flop 1 2 2 3 and 4 uh, uh, inputs are added independently and output is calculated independently this is the type of buffer register designed by use of d flip flop d d flip flop clock pulse is added buffer register and shifting of data can be uh, shift left shift right or uh, it can be shift on both directions means shift uh, only shift it can be shift to left side of register or 
it can be shift on right side of register or it data can be shifted from to both side of register now we will see we have seen buffer register with use of d flip flop now we will see shift registers there are four modes of shifting operation serial in serial out serial as i mentioned before now we will see serial in and serial out serial in serial out register we will arrange four flip flops in serial order let me name them d3 d2 d1 and d0 i will also apply clock pulse here this is flip flop 3 this is flip flop 2 we are talking about ser serial in serial out Sh shift right means we are shifting at the right this is final our saved number suppose this is the expected number saved into the register this is clock pulse this is how serial in serial out register works data is added serially this is shift uh, shift right because we are adding from the right side suppose we have to add 1111 binary number before starting of the application clock signal will be 0000, 000. Uh, we will first apply the clock first falling edge of clock the uh, first flip flop will be set and the uh, output will be 1000 on the we will apply next then next bit uh, second flip flip flop second will be set then output will be 1100 after applying third from d in this is d in third flip flop 1 and flip flop 0 flip flop 1 will be set and uh, this will be 110 and here fourth flip flop flip flop 0 will set and we will get 1111 our we will get stored our 1111 binary number this is how serial in serial out right shift now we will see serial in parallel out this is serial in serial out we will see serial in parallel out so as name suggests you will understand we let me draw four flip flop data is added serially means as here let me add clock pulse this is flip flop 0 flip flop 1 flip flop 2 flip flop sorry 0 1 2 and 3 this is data 0 d0 d1 d2 and d3 now this is serial in parallel out means data is added serially d in but it's we will get data added not from here because it is parallel out so from out here we will get q0 from here we get q1 q2 and q3 so we have to wait till all um, suppose we pass 1111 binary number in this uh, serial in parallel out register we have to wait till all values one here one here one here and one here loaded in this then we will then output is enabled till load till then output is disabled while loading the values in serial in serial out we get some output 1000 when first flip flop is set 1100 when second is set 1 1110 when third is set and 1111 when fourth is set certain output but here output it disabled till all flip flop gets all flip flop gets sets and when all flip flop are sets we will get the 
desired output 1 1 1 1 because we are adding 1 1 1 1 this is how serial in parallel out uh, flip uh, register works data is added serially and get it can be retrieved parallelly at same time then all values are loaded now we will see parallel in parallel out shift uh, parallel in parallel out register we are taking n flip flops here for example we are taking four flip flops flip flop 0 1 2 3 now i think you also can design this parallel in we have to enter four here four so four input four binary input so b0 b1 b2 b3 b0 1 2 3 b this is b and don't forget to apply clock pulse and parallel output q0 q1 q2 q3 this is this is 4 bit parallel data output 1 2 3 4 from here we give input this is 4 bit 4 bit parallel data output clock this is parallel in parallel out register now we will see parallel in serial out mode parallel in serial out mode of register this one is little tricky but here i explain in this there are two modes shift mode or load mode i will explain that let me take three flip flops let me add clock pulse so and here one addition thing is here are shift and load mode one input for shift and load mode means it either can be uh, parallel in serial out uh, shift mode or parallel in serial out load mode if this line is 0 it will be load this line is 1 it will be shift so let me draw inverse of this and not inverse means if this line is 1 it will be 0 and it will be 1 if this line is 0 it will be 1 and it will be 0 shift or load I will explain this at later 4 binary inputs b0, b1, b2 and b3 first binary input will be added as it is D0 then we have to apply some set of gates we have to add two end gates and to add them we have to here one or gate so let me draw two end gates and the output of these two end gates will be combined in or gate and it will be added here same will be here and same will be here I will explain that or get and it will be here so the input for this and gets will be this is 1 this is 2 this is 3rd and get this is 4th this is 5th and this is 6th these two are AND gate are combined in OR gate and they are given as 
input d1 d0 d1 d2 d3 first input will be directly from this now um, this second input will be added as a second output of the second end gate this will be as a second output of the fourth end gate and this will be second output as a sixth end gate now the this input this output sorry this output which is q0 q1 q3 q0 q1 q2 and q3 this q0 will be added as a first input to this and get this will be added as a first input as a three and get and this one will be added as a first input to the, this and get now we have to add first second input of all these and gets and first input of all these and gets so second so will will we uh, this is inverse and this is one if this is one then it will be zero so one we have to connect one line from this line and one line from this line i will explain that this line it will be here and for this we have to add this line so now all end gates have their inputs so i will explain now sorry for this all this thing i hope you will understand when um, let me see my notes this is little tricky when shift or load is low when this is zero the and gates 2 4 and 6 will get activated because when will this will be zero this will be one so 2 4 and 6 will get activate and they will pass b1 2 b1 2 b1 b2 and b3 to the corresponding flip flop so this is how uh, load mode is uh, activated and when shift mode is activated on shift mode when line is 1 means on high state this will become inverse so 2 4 and 6 which are active in load mode it will be active in it will be inact inactive in shift mode and instead of 2 4 6 1 3 and 5 will be active in this mode and uh, our input of b0 b1 b2 b1 b2 b3 will be uh, sent to the corresponding flip flops and we will get serial uh, output here serial data output so this is how parallel in serial out register works